Hello, welcome to another video here at Maggie Moose Creations. So today I'm going to be doing a polymer clay video. I haven't done one of these in a while and it's just revisiting an old design I did over the summer. So basically I'm going to be making a large strawberry macaroon charm, a key ring charm, key ring thing <laughs> um, for one of my friends. So I thought I would film it, so I've just got my clay here, I've been uh, working it so that it is um, soft, I'm just trying to find my knife, but this one will have to do for now, oh there it is, beautiful, I'm just going to chop that in half. And we'll take each piece and just roll it up. Give it a smush down. And it looks a bit like a strawberry. And we'll do same on the other side sorry about the lighting I'm using my uh, daylight lamp to film I'm gonna start using that quite a lot because the only chance I seem to get to um, film nowadays is uh, in the evening so but it is winter it is uh, just coming into the beginning of January so yes right then so now we have the base of our strawberry I am going to take a small piece of yellow polymer clay Ta -da! and I'm just gonna roll that work that so that um, I just need a small piece it's just to make the little seeds oh and before I forget we should do the face of the face of the strawberry um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make two little eyes and I've got my black clay let me go straighten that up for you oh, I'm trying to roll this the clay is really hard for some reason um so yeah we don't need a lot of this I'm just gonna get enough that I can roll it into a circle chop it in half Maybe a bit more on that side <laughs> and then we can roll them up and just squish them in their holes but there is this one is too big we need enough in both of them so here we go and this is the little face, Some little eyes anyway, um, and just rolling out this clay, gonna make a little mouth. the little mouth down so now we have a little face and then we can take our yellow clay and we can just roll it out a bit and then chop some of the little pieces I'm not 
sure how it would look, but I might roll these up and make them into little hearts and give them little heart shaped seeds, but I just need to bring them up closer to my face or I can't see them. There we go. The little heart shaped seeds. This is gonna take a while. taking some green clay and I'm just gonna make some leaves for the top of the straw
gonna take my blade because the end is um, straight and I'm just gonna make some incisions or like um, impressions and just push it into the clay add some leaf lines if you want to call it that just going to take the largest leaf and push it in and the others can follow to each side so now I must try <laughs> it doesn't matter if this side gets squished really This is just some scrap clay and I have some white clay for the middle. I am now going to take some white clay, just a little bit, and I'm just going to roll it into a sausage shape. place it around the edge of the macaroon oh you know what I haven't done which is actually very silly because that's the whole point of it being a macaroon is the red edging <laughs> oh dear See, we all make mistakes sometimes, but they're easily rectified. And simply wrap that around you should really do this at the beginning you just wrap that around the edges cut the extra off and then you do the same for the other side Just make sure it's kind of fixed into place and then I just take my uh, needle tool and I just fluff up around the edges so I'm gonna take this off camera and I'll show you the finished product at the end it's just it's really difficult for me to film and do this because I have to be really close to it and I don't want my head in it so I will be back in a second so I've finished fluffing up the edges whatever you want to call it with my needle tool and now I am just taking the white clay yet again and laying it around the edge of the macaroon And I'm just gonna chop off 
any excess. And with my scrap clay, I am merely going to roll it out a piece. And squish it down. And place it in the middle of the macaroon and then I am going to take my liquid clay which is on its last legs and I am just gonna put a bit of the liquid bake clay into the middle of the macaroon a little bit on the white and then I am going to add the top part of the strawberry to the macaroon so now it is a full macaroon but to make it into a charm I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going to make a hole in the top. I've got my head pins. I'm just gonna find a small one. Um, and I have some pliers. I'm just gonna snip my head pin a little bit and then I'm going to bend my head pin, eye pin upwards and make it flush so it forms like a little bubbly bit and then I'm just gonna insert that into the hole and I will add a bit more of this liquid clay if it ever comes out of the bottle that is And there we have the finished charm that will soon be baked and become a keyring. So yes. Now that my polymer clay strawberry macaroon is all baked, I am going to take Fimo gloss varnish and I am just gonna varnish the key ring so that it makes it all shiny. It makes it look so lovely. And I have a mini bottle that I keep just a little bit of gloss in so that I can use the brush.
now that it's all glazed I'm just gonna wait for it to dry so that I can carry on doing the rest of the keyboard. I've now glazed the front and the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and glaze the back of the macaroon. just need to wait for it to dry so that I can make it into a keyring. I have now finished glazing the strawberry macaroon so now I'm going to make it into a keyring. So I'm going to take a jump ring and a split pin, split ring and make this into a key ring. I'm gonna add a made with love Tibetan silver bead. So I'm going to use these red seed beads, they are um, strawberry red I believe they were called, oh losing them. And then I'm just going to take the end of the eye pin and wrap it round on itself so that with my pliers so that it stays in place and keeps the beads in place. And I'm going to do it again for this one so there is a pair of them to finish off the key ring. I'm going to take my pliers again, finish it off, ah. sometimes I struggle with it but most of the time it's fine. So here we go, so now I can take a jump ring and take these and just add them on and then here we have our finished key ring so very big thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it this is a polymer clay video that I haven't really done before I haven't really done polymer clay video in a while either so I do hope you enjoyed that it's something slightly 
different i'm hoping this year to do some more polymer clay videos so yes um i have a patreon please go check it out i have an etsy where we sell all our crafts um i have a facebook and an instagram page where you can just keep up with everything that we're doing and obviously if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more crafty content see you in the next video bye